Welcome to The Coaching Table. I'm Thomas Thompson, Leadership Coach with Lead Self, Lead Others. The Coaching Table is a weekly coaching experience I've launched to help leaders like you have the conversations that you're not having so we can truly live well and finish well. And we do that by leading ourselves. And so we're going to have a conversation today around the word waiting. I don't know about you, but I feel like that word really captures a lot of what 2020 has been about, right? We're waiting on results. We're waiting for updates. We're waiting for it to change. We're waiting for them to change. We're, we're waiting for things to go back to normal. We're, we're waiting to find out what normal is going to be. Most of us, I think, are just waiting for 2020 to be over. Several years ago, some executives at a airport in Houston were receiving a number of complaints from passengers about the long wait lines at the baggage carousels. And so to solve this, they went out and hired a bunch of new baggage handlers and tried to revamp their systems. And, and they actually got the wait time down to about eight minutes, which was an industry leader number for them. And yet the complaints were still happening. They couldn't figure out oh, why. Why are people upset? And then they realized this. The passengers took just one minute to walk from the plane to the baggage carousel. And that, that meant they had seven minutes of standing there watching just nothing happen as this thing goes around. You see, it wasn't the walk time that was the problem, it was the wait time and the feeling that they were hurry up and sitting around. So you know what they did? They moved the arrival gates seven minutes further away. This way, people actually had to walk further to get to their bags, but by the time they got there, their bags were ready to go. Problem solved. You see, we can wait as long as we are doing something. We can tolerate occupied time, like walking towards a baggage carousel, much better than we can unoccupied time, standing there waiting for the bag to come. Give us something to do while we wait, and the wait becomes endurable. So let me help you reframe the way that you think about waiting. And to do that, I want to use a phrase that the prophets of old used to use with the people of God. Whenever the people of God were waiting on something to happen, the prophets would use this phrase, wait on the Lord. We see it used in Lamentations 3 verse 25 where it says, the Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. And you can see in that phrase that there is a sense that, there, that we're waiting on God to do what only he can do, wait on the Lord. But there's also that sense that there are things that we can be doing during that time, seek him. You see, waiting in the Bible is not about unoccupied time. Waiting always has that sense of stewarding something. What are we doing while we're waiting on the Lord? We're serving with him. We're, we're waiting on him to move, but we're doing what we can do. Uh, in the conversations I'm having with my clients as we're wrapping up 2020, we're trying to shift away from language about just waiting for 2020 to be over to really examining how are we stewarding this year? How are we stewarding our decisions and our time and our plans? And what, what are the seeds that we're planting now that we're going to be looking forward to reaping next year? How are we stewarding this? We're not waiting for our luggage to arrive. We're walking towards it. So here's your coaching table question for this week. How are you stewarding your waiting? We're going to look back one year, I believe, and, and be excited that this year was over. But there's going to be some of us who have stewarded our waiting. And we're going to be able to look back and be grateful that while the world seems stuck, we moved our stories forward. There's lots to do right now while we're waiting for whatever's next. Get to it. Steward it well. How are you stewarding your waiting? I'd love for you to take that question with you into your week, into your own personal prayer time, or to your dinner table, or to your, uh, to your time with your own leadership coach. I, I would even love to have a conversation with you about that. You can scroll down and tap on my email and shoot me a little note, or you can scroll up and do a video. We, you, I can have a little video chat together with that. And by the way, um, if you would like help launching 2021 right, I am doing another 30 days to focus coaching cohort. It's a time where we train you on how to keep your focus on who and what matters most in your life. It's a very effective tool. We're gonna to be doing it in January. You can see the, click the bottom uh, of this email. There's a little button that says click here and find out more about that. 
Well, I'll see you again next Monday with another conversation about leading yourself well. And until then, you're always welcome at the coaching table.